Good evening. I trust you are rested after last night? Myself, I could not sleep one wink. Being at sea always leaves me rejuvenated. It was like old times. Old times. My childhood. At my mother's knee. Learning from the best. She was... not. Formidable, but merely human. I do not often dwell on the past, but I dare not forget it. I am the daughter of the Pirate Queen of Ulster, and her legacy lives through me. Speaking of which, I must continue my training. I will see you at the meeting. Aye. Thank you. Hey there. You're awake. Sounds like you had quite the harbor cruise last night. Most people would pay good money for that. You mean you didn't glance once at the Statue of Liberty? I guess you're a real New Yorker after all. But seriously, the brass ones on that guy, showing up in the middle of the harbor like he did. Supernatural creatures used to be more... skittish. They worked in the shadows. They're getting braver, bolder, flexing their muscles in front of mundanes. And if that goes unchecked... Well, you know where that leads, don't we? Not personally, but it is personal. Sorry, I'm not making a whole lot of sense, am I? Many centuries ago, there was a fire mage. His name was Alden. He got bold, too. He killed people with his power. Whole villages, armies. Nobody could stop him. He was my great-grandfather. So yeah, I know where this leads. And it's never anywhere nice. Anyway, see you at the meeting. You got it. So this place is real. It's all real. You know, when I got up this morning, I thought I dreamt it all. But everything's changed. People are remembering. Remembering that people died. I heard Vinny crying all night. He doesn't understand. How could he? I want to tell him, but that would be a really bad idea. Anyway, I'm ready to get to work. I'm fine. Just show me the monsters and I'll take them out. Donnie? He's super pissed. He's not sure what happened, but he knows he was tricked. He's doing his best to make it right. Not that it really can be made right. The station's a madhouse. All the victims' families are flooding the place, demanding answers. The cops don't know what to say. You'd think I'd feel a bit of, I don't know, vindication or whatever. But I just want to move on. I can't change what happened to all those people, but if I can stop it from happening to anyone else, I'm ready and raring to go. Right. I have been reading the reports of your last mission. It has been a long time since I have seen one of the merfolk. To hear they are so changed distresses me greatly. I thank you for that. The past and the present are sometimes difficult to reconcile. The merfolk once lived in harmony with humanity. This is several thousand years ago, of course, but they were peaceful, playful, loyal to their allies. All they asked in return was to live in peace. Now I hear they are fighting for their lives, fighting wars, building armies. <sighs> I suppose our world is not the only one which has evolved. Regardless, one must not live in the past. If you are ready, we will start the meeting. I might know a thing or two about that. 
We're the wall against the darkness, the protectors of the mundane world. We might not be what we once were, but we are here, and that is all that matters. Nobody knows for sure, not even I, but this branch is exactly 393 years old. I know because I founded it. <laughs> That's gratitude for you. Used to be, you mundanes would beg us for help if a cat looked at you funny. But yes, I won't deny it. Supernatural threats became fewer and further between over the last century. There was little reason for mundanes to think of us at all. But things have changed. Yes, this city was becoming a force to be reckoned with, with the supernatural forces to match. There was important work to be done. I volunteered, and here I am still. Yes, supernatural threats have risen. Exponentially, it's been difficult to contain. We need to fill our ranks. You are the first in a long line of many, I hope. Well, spit it out. I do not indulge in idle gossip. If you want to know of someone, ask them. Not now. My opinion will be given during... A magic phone. I suppose that is one way of describing it. There are shards of this crystal in every branch of the unavowed. It allows us to communicate, for whatever good that does. A dragon at the head of the Dublin branch of the unavowed. Yes, she is old, stuck in her ways. I suppose the same could be said of most of us. I agree. I am glad to see you made it, Detective Santina. Uh, you don't need to call me that. I'm no detective. Not anymore. My daughter speaks the truth. For a full year, you were on a mission to ferret out the truth at great risk to yourself. Is this correct? Yeah. Who else was gonna do it? Then it is settled. You are a detective. One who detects. Speak no more of it. The Jinn were great friends of the Merfolk once. I remember them quite fondly. I am grateful you let the General live, but not at the expense of Joy Harrison's life. She took her own life, Father. Sometimes a nasty perp does you a favor and ices themselves. Saves paperwork and manpower, not to mention lives. What? Pulling that trigger made things better for everyone. I ain't gonna pretend otherwise. That was harsh, but truly spoken darn right. You all did good work last night, considering the circumstances. But my question still stands. Why? Why is the demon doing this? What does it have to gain? We, um, still don't know. Have you investigated the Bronx as instructed? No. Not yet, Father. Then perhaps we'll find our answers there. I don't see any cops, so I guess you'll have to settle for me. You all know your duty. Report back when you have new information. Meeting adjourned. Holy shit! Yeah, you get used to that. So this is how you guys travel? By subway? It's all we have the budget for most of the time. Budget constraints. Yeah, I get that. But what about an emergency? Emergency? My dad used to tell me stories about this neighborhood. The Bronx is burning and all that. Hey, that had nothing to do with me. What? No, I was being, what do you call it, figurative. Oh, right. Sorry. You spend enough time with Mandana, you forget metaphors exist. 
Evening, folks. Marcus, is that you? Santina. Long time no see. I thought you pulled the pin. I did. Turns out retirement doesn't suit me. But what about you? I heard you uh, had some trouble. Some, yeah. Working through it. Right, right. Glad to hear it. Sorry, this is Marcus. He used to work the ferry. Yeah, I got to ride the boat all day while you cops did the real work. If I remember right, you stopped your fair share of creeps. Well, here's a secret. When your beat is a boat, the bad guys got nowhere to go. Oh, it was a sweet gig in the sun. I'll say that much. Sunshine, free hot dogs from the commissary, 360 degree views of Lady Liberty. But in the winter, forget it. It got so cold and damp, my uniform would turn to ice. After five years of that, it was time for a lateral move. Subway might be filthy, but it is warm. All the damp doesn't bother me much. Not as long as I have my jitter juice here. I work the subway. I see five strange things before noon. You're gonna need to be a lot more specific than that. Stay dry out there. And that's really it. I'm screwed. And this is kind of weird. Why am I telling you all this? You know what? You're right. Nobody ever asks how I feel. Nobody. I just don't know what to do. I knew that room at the Eddings house was too good to be true. I knew it. Hey, I'm all about proactive. You don't keep a GPA like mine without being proactive. What do you suggest? So, is this a regular thing with him, or what? You can say that. I'm thinking of packing a pillow for next time. You sure? Because these are new shoes. Just breathe through your nose, nice and slow. Really? That works? You see enough dead bodies, you'll learn how to choke it down. You seem okay. A body can adjust to anything if it needs to. Heck, I've got fire magic in my blood. Anyway, the woman in the vision said something about the Eddings house. Shouldn't be hard to track down. I've had worse leads. Right. Let's go. You keeping out of trouble, Santina? Nope. I'm trying to stop some. That's what I'd like to hear. Now, why would you be asking about that? Oh, don't be sorry. It's just nasty business is all. It's at the end of Morgan Ave, just west of here. Sure, you be careful out there. place. Pretty typical as these things go. You did see Marcus's face, right? I don't think anything here is typical. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Huh? Calling me crazy, but... Yeah, the window is talking to us. Oh, good. So I'm not going nuts. That was a good try. Yeah, a good try. So, this veil thing you put on my gun, nobody will be able to hear it? It's more complicated than that, but essentially, yeah. Right. Cool. Although, wait. The gun is veiled, but that window isn't... Sorry, what? Nothing. Never mind. Right. Let me. There you are. I heard you talking. Is someone in there? Let's get in and see for ourselves. Okay, time to cut the crap. State your name now. Really? You don't act like any ghost I've ever seen. A spirit guide? You mean you're bound to a spirit medium? One close by?
the hell? It's just a plastic hula dancer. Sorry. Bit jumpy. It's this house. Something about it ain't right. My dad had one of those in his car. I wanted to shoot that one too. to get into right now. Who are your friends? I'm Eli Beckett. This is Vicky Santina. My name's Logan Brown. I used to buy too many drinks from your friend here. And now, I could really use some help. Hold on. You... you can see them. Like, actually see them. Well, sure. Kind of. Ghosts all look the same, don't they? Just what do you mean? Clouds? No, no. That's not right at all. I see people. Two women, one man. They're confused and angry. Not exactly easy to talk to. Hold it. You can see them and talk to them? Yeah. So you're the one K.K. told us about. The Bestower. Yeah, uh, that's me. You know your stuff. You're here to help these ghosts pass on. That's right. Only things went a bit wrong. Oh, crap. Easy. Easy now. Shh. Just relax. Okay. She's calm. For now. I kind of need to focus. Can you help me or what? Later, when I get this under control. But for now, I need to know their names is the best way to get through to them. Can you do that? Figure out their names? something. So we go pound the pavement, just like any other investigation. I guess, whatever it takes. I'd go myself, but I'm kind of trapped. Thanks. Seriously. Looks like it's full of ashes. You're not wrong. From the consistency, it looks like notebook paper. Or at least it was. Jesus. Burning documents in a trash can. Could have burnt the whole place down.
What's up? Sure, but maybe we should move outside first. Playing with fire magic indoors is a bad idea. Right with you. So Eli, you used to be normal like me, right? What's up? Don't see why not. What do you have in mind? Sure, just a sec. Actual names is the best way to get through. You sure? Let's try it. Are those your names? Art, Jess, Dana, Art, Jess, Dana? What the hell did you just do? No, no. Please, there's no need for this. Art, Dana, Jess, just relax, fellas. Please, relax. That was close. Close? Close? Those ghosts went geist. Geist? Poltergeist! It's what you get when ghosts go bad. Like, really, really bad. I've only read about them in books. It doesn't actually happen. At least, it shouldn't. Not anymore. Well, it happens now. These ghosts attacked us. They tried to tear KK apart. We barely got the circle up in time. You need to tell us what's going on. Fine. I think I've got things under control. If you have questions, ask them now. Oh, this? KK taught me how to make it. Ghosts can't cross it. Not just ghosts. It keeps out any spiritual energy. I've got something similar in my lab. You do? Sure. When you're experimenting with unstable magic, it's smart to be behind the protection circle. But it took me weeks to prepare. You're telling me that you whipped this up on the spot? Me? I just drew the circle. It was KK who turned it on. Amazing. You both must be incredibly powerful. We're just doing a job, one day at a time. Or we would, if we weren't stuck here. Two or three days, maybe? I had some energy bars in my pocket. They got me through the worst of it. But yeah, won't be long before my shoes start to look very tasty. Like I said, we came here to put these ghosts to rest. Usually it doesn't take much. We talk to them a bit, learn who they are, try and get through to them. But these three, they got violent. Ugly. They went after KK, tried to rip her to shreds. Poor kid was terrified. Kid? She's ten years old. Jesus, is she okay? Last time I saw her, yeah. We got this circle up, it calmed them down long enough for her to escape. We've been separated ever since. If she comes in here, the ghosts attack her. I leave the circle, the ghosts attack me. So, you see my dilemma here. You couldn't call anyone. All the spiritual energy screws with my phone, but even still, I couldn't bring anyone else in here. Too dangerous. Because they don't know you're here. Ghosts barely see other people. Only me and KK. As long as I don't provoke them, they won't go crazy again. She's a spirit guide. Not a pure ghost. Different rules. KK and I are bonded at the soul. Only I can see her. It's the way it's always been. I don't know. With other ghosts, KK does most of the talking. Ghosts relate to her more, being a ghost herself. But I'm on my own this time. These three won't listen to me. They're just so angry. 
so I hope you guys have some ideas. Because I'm out. Well, like I said, geists don't just appear. Something happened. Something related to their deaths. If we can figure that out, maybe we can help them. An investigation, huh? That I can handle. It depends. Usually we talk to them, convince them they are actually dead. Sometimes an object works, something that they are attached to, something that reminds them of who they are. Believe me, I'm not going anywhere. I... I've never done this before. Nothing like this before. I mean, I love my wife. I do, but... No. No, no, I'm not. I've been unsure of many things, but not this. Why is that? That's exactly it. And after tonight, you'll be gone, but I'll keep a memento, just like you asked. I have a hiding space in the garage. Nobody will ever find it under my heart rate. It will be for me and me alone. And you, if you ever come back. Just look in the mailbox. The garage opener is hidden in there, taped to the inside where it's hard to see. Now, where were we? That's... Wow. Yeah. Fucking hell. I get that this is hard, and I'm sorry, but we need to focus. You didn't do anything. Remember that. What your demon did here was no accident. It had a reason. A plan. We need to learn what it was. Take your time. I know everything, Dana. That's crazy. You're crazy. I wouldn't do that. This man told me everything. What man? You. But why? You're the one who told me to do it. It wasn't just talk! You gave me instructions, a list of things to buy! So you admit it. You poisoned my dog. You know what? Fine, yes. I killed your fucking dog. It was destroying my GPA. My sleep. Not to mention Arabelle. Is that what this is about, your little rag doll? You promised to fix her months ago! She's been in your closet ever since, just collecting dust. So kick me out. Call the cops. I don't care anymore. I'm done. Yes, Dana. You deserve to die for this. What? You killed my friend. I it was just a dog. G get a grip. You killed my friend. Murder by mental suggestion. 
A classic demon ploy if there ever was one. I don't know about you guys, but I am so sick of this death and brainwashing crap. Even still, brainwashing notwithstanding, it seems like a mundane murder. That shouldn't force a spirit to go geist. It just shouldn't. Let's get back to it then. Eli, I was thinking about something you said. Taped to the side of the mailbox. Not the most subtle hiding place, but sometimes simple is better. My dad used to hide our garage remote under a fake rock. Neighbor's dog kept digging it up. We're stealing license plates now? Good thing I'm not a cop anymore. Is something wrong? At least, you can hardly tell it's you. I mean, the lighting's terrible, and it's kind of blurry. I think you should stop talking. I'm just saying it won't hold up in court. I don't think that's a good idea. This picture was stuck here for a reason. No need to destroy evidence quite yet. So, Vicky, what about your family? Have you... Hey, Eli, could you pretend for a sec that I'm your kid? Did you really think I wouldn't find out? Don't turn this around on me. You killed Dana. Turn it around. You slept with that man. Be quiet. This is your fault. His fault? Yes, I had an affair. I'm sorry. But you murdered Dana. 
She deserved it. She killed my Mary Jane. Jesus, are you even listening to yourself? Oh, so you can love your precious car, but loving my dog is crazy? No, murder is what's crazy. You're right. You are so right. Hey, he seduced me. You didn't have to say yes. I don't want to do this, Jess. Well, too fucking bad. This just gets better and better. That's one dead dog. Oh, good. There's a collar. Just grab that, will ya? Ugh. You got a shower back at HQ? Because, well, you're gonna need one. I killed my wife. I cheated on her. And then I killed her. She was so angry, and she did kill before. I'm confused, so confused. I'm going to go sit in my car for a bit, try and think. Maybe I'll run the motor a little, check if it's running okay. Could you make sure the garage doors close? Seventies reject clothes, a tacky umbrella, an old doll. Guess it can't hurt to grab it. What's the story? Right back at you. Who'd have thought we'd end up here? But we can catch up later. You know, after you save my butt. No. Usually up with these guys. That adds up. So things are they all right. Well, one thing at a time. It did. Is it still there? It was there when we left it. Well, get me out of here and I'll be happy to check it out for you. It's the least I could do. Seriously? Dana, is this true? Did you kill the family dog? Okay, okay! She's denying it. She says she had no reason to do that. She's not lying. She was mentally forced into doing it. I see. In that case, the best way to reach her is with something physical. Something she's got a strong attachment to. There's gotta be something like that around here somewhere. Jesus. 
Jess, is that true? You killed Dana because she killed your dog? I'm sorry, but it's true. Okay. Okay! Never mind. She's fine. She's denying all of it. She's saying her dog isn't dead. Do you have any evidence that the dog is dead? Something physical? Find me something like that, and maybe we can get through to her. You did? Art, did you have an affair? Okay. Shh. Relax. I'm not accusing you of anything. He's denying it. He says he loves his wife. Of course he does. They always say that. He's not lying exactly. He's just confused. Death can cloud your memories, put you in denial. We need something physical, something more than words. Find something like that, maybe we can get through to him. Believe me, I'm not... Whoa! Uh, why are you showing this to me? Wait, is that art? Yeah, yeah, this is proof, all right. But who's the other guy in the picture? He's kind of hard to make out. Okay, okay, I guess you're right. Art, did you take this picture? I'm sorry, Art, but this is you. You can't deny it. Don't ask me why you did it. That's a question only you can answer. Good. Acceptance. That's the only way forward. I get you weren't in your right mind, but it still happened. It still matters. I don't judge you one way or the other. That's not my department. Just think about that. Can you do that for me? Please? There we go. Just hang tight, Art. And I'm sorry. I think that did it. He's ready. Ready for what? Ready to move on. Once we calm down all three ghosts, KK and I can do our thing. But for now, keep doing what you're doing. That's kind of disgusting. What are you showing me that for? Hmm, that might work. Do it here. Jess, do you recognize this? Mary Jane, that was her name? Can you tell me about her? I... Yeah, that sucks. It really, really sucks. Dana shouldn't have done that. But you can't do anything about it now. It's out of your control. You see that, right? That's it. That's it. I just need you to think about that for a bit, okay? Right. I think that did it. She's calm. She's ready. Just one more to go. Um, a doll. Why are you showing me that? An old toy. Let me see. Dana, is this yours? Arabelle, huh? It's a nice name. Oh, I see. Dogs will do that sometimes. I'm sorry. But why did you do that? There was no need for that. I... No. I can't judge you. That's not my department. If you really want to move on from this, you need to make it right. Asking forgiveness, yeah. Doesn't matter if you get it. It's just important you ask. Just think about it, okay? Just think about it. Yeah. Just have a little think. That did it. She's aware. She's ready. Okay, that's the last of them. Here goes everything. They're... they're not attacking. Guys? Oh, thank God. KK, get in here. It's safe. God, it's good to see you. You met everyone? This is Eli, that's Vicky, and that's... Wait, duh. You guys can't see KK, can you? Kind of facing the wrong way. Uh, now she's on your other side. Now she's KK. Stop messing around. Anyway, there's just one more thing I need to do. Then I'm going out to eat about a dozen steaks. Hey guys, Dana, 
Art, Jess, I want you to meet my friend. Her name's KK. I know you all have had a rough few months, but it's almost over. Just take her hand, okay? One at a time. Human again. Almost makes me. Never mind. Never did it sober, though. It's different now. I would have died in there if you hadn't shown up. There's nothing, Logan. It's our job. That's not what I'm getting at. You guys, you do this all the time? More than we used to, for sure. I'd like to join you. KK, too, obviously. Is that possible? We don't want to be caught like that ever again. To be fair, it wasn't exactly the same back in those days. Of course you could join us. Who would miss the chance to work with a real-life bestower? Our boss won't like it, but he can go stuff himself. Um, why is that? He says that death is part of the mundane, so it's not our jurisdiction. I used to agree, but... After tonight, we need all the help we can get. In case you're too, don't forget that. Do you have a place to stay, Logan? I've got a place in the neighborhood. Great. You go home and get some sleep. We'll meet up first thing in the morning. I'm looking forward to it.